Hello everyone, welcome back to our series Linux Essentials. My name is Sohail and this is our first video of the series and it will help you clear some basics. In this video, I'll simplify Linux so beginners can get basic understanding in just a few minutes. Let's start from understanding Linux. What is it? You might have heard that Linux is an operating system, but here's the news, it's not. Linux is the kernel. Imagine it as an engine under the car hood, making everything else smoothly. The operating system is like the whole car, with the engine, wheels, and everything that makes it move. So Linux is super important, but for a fully working system, you also need other bits like software and applications, which come from another project called GNU. That's why some folks call it GNU slash Linux. It's like the teamwork between Linux and GNU to make your computer work right. And about the kernel, it is a software layer that acts as an intermediary between your computer hardware and the applications running on it. The kernel is responsible for managing the system resources, such as CPU, memory, input-output devices, and so much more. We can interact with the Linux system either using a command line or even through our graphical user interface. Now, command line might sound a bit intimidating, but it's like having a direct chat with the system. It will allow you to have more control over your system. It's not as complicated as it might seem. The more you use it, the less command line will freak you out. Talking about the command line, there are two important things, Linux file systems and permissions. Imagine your computer is like a super organized room and file systems are like a neatly labeled drawers. Everything has its place. The permissions are like deciding who gets to borrow your stuff from your drawers. In episode five of this series, we'll learn in detail about Linux file system and permissions. Not everything in Linux involves typing. We'll also take a look at the graphical user interface or GUI. It's the visual clickable part of your computer. No need to be a tech whiz, just click icons and open programs like you would do in any other operating system like Windows or Mac. In fact, we have more flavors in Linux than any other operating system. Talking about Linux flavors, throughout this series, you'll hear me use terms like Linux distros or Linux distributions. Think of these terms as different flavors of Linux. These distributions, often called distros, take Linux kernel and package it with different desktop environment, software, settings, and features. It's like picking your favorite ice cream with toppings. Some popular Linux distributions include Ubuntu, Fedora, and Debian. So this was it for the first video. In the next video, we'll learn to install Linux and see some basic commands. Thanks for watching the video. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to give it a thumbs up, subscribe for more content, and hit the notification bell so you don't miss any episode. Share your thoughts in the comment section below. See you in the next one.